Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. We got the Sonic Wake V2 on the block. This is Pro Boat's latest and greatest, okay? Uh, it has upgraded hardware on the back of the boat. What we're going to be doing today is upgrading the strut to a stinger okay this is going to allow more tunability easier tunability okay uh, this is a tfl adjustable stinger all right it, it's adjustable up and down okay it also has a strut barrel that's fully tunable okay it'll unscrew in and out for tunability all right this is the mad lizard stinger upgrade for the v1 and the v2 okay what mad lizard does is he takes the tfl stinger and actually he makes this custom plate okay it it allows you to directly bolt on this stinger where before you would have to drill in four holes fill two holes and uh this one it just bolts right onto the transit of, of the boat all you need to do is cut your stuff into boom you're done all right it's super nice i'll include mad lizard's uh email in the description his youtube channel you guys can drop him a comment and uh he sells this like whole setup right here the whole deal all right he'll ship it out to you you can discuss pricing and shipping with him uh once you get in contact so uh we're going to install this onto the v2 here and uh let's get to it let's get to it all right big b with ironclad rc This boat, it really don't need this upgraded stinger. I mean, it's going to be super nice, and it's going to give us a lot of adjustability. The stock strut, it's fine. It's fine for the boat. All right, got the cable broke loose. I'm going to pull the cable out. All right, uh, I think I'm going to use the V2 as, like, my speed run boat. It's got this inner skeletal system in it and stuff. I think I'm going to drop a 160 in it one day to get my V1 back. Uh, on the water, I'll use that as my basher, my prop and wheelies boat. <laughs> All right, so let's just make sure the the new stinger holes are going to line up to the old stinger before we go and cut tubes and all that stuff. So it's a direct bolt on on the V2. All right, you guys, the Mad Lizard upgraded stinger. Okay, I've actually been working on this guy right here. Uh, upgrading this to brushless the 2440 in it i've got a flex cable in the boat um just kind of working out some of the kinks here this video will be coming out soon so i'm loosening up the stuff and tube retainer screws here we're going to pull this retainer off so we can pull the stuff and tube out the boat i actually took a magic marker and marked where the stuff and tube is in its stock position okay just kind of give me a reference and we're going to push the stuff into right out the through hole right here. Okay. You guys can see my mark there. Figure out where I need to cut the stuff and tube. Okay. Um, pretty sure, pretty sure we don't need to cut the cable. I was thinking we may need to cut it, but this stinger is adjustable in and out. All right. So we can, once we get the stinger installed, we should be able to adjust the strut barrel to length you know so that it fits the cable in its stock form all right um i'm thinking that if we cut our stuffing tube so it's basically uh coming out the back of the boat about six millimeters 6.4 i'm gonna go six all right you don't want your your stuffing tube to actually go in into the strut barrel because you got to figure the strut's going to be moved up and down for adjustability tuned I'm going to cut it a little bit long because I am freaking human. We are human. Nobody's freaking perfect. I pushed the drill bit into my stuffing tube that fits pretty good in there. And it's actually pushed my, my liner out so I don't cut my liner. And I can cut my liner to size. Alright, so I took my liner out. I'm going to use a pipe cutter. Uh, that's what I like to use to cut my stuffing tubes. I'm sure there's better ways to do it. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but this is how I'm doing it, all right? I like to use a piece of sandpaper. If I can't get a grip on my stuffing tube, use a little piece of sandpaper to grip it with. That way it's not spinning while you're spinning your, your cutoff here. A little tip for you. 
Should be uh should be on the money. Boom, that should be perfect. All right. If it's not, we can always push it in a little bit. Okay, I got I left some room for adjustability there. See that? So um I think that's gonna work. I think that's gonna work, you guys. So uh I'm gonna go ahead and put my retainer back on. All right, and we're gonna bolt up the stinger. So what I did is I put a little bit of a little bit of alcohol in my stuffing tube, and I've got it like a t-shirt kind of rolled up here, old piece of cloth. And I'm just gonna put that in my, my stuffing tube and make sure there's no metal shavings in there. Just kind of run it through it, okay, like so. All right. I also wiped off my liner. All right. Uh, this is going to be on the back of the boat. That's in the inside the boat. Um, I'm going to use some super glue on my liner so it don't spin in the stuffing tube. You just want to put it on the, like, whichever way you're pushing it in, put it on the back half, you know, so you don't glue it in there halfway through, <laughs> halfway through the, the stuffing tube you know what i mean so i got my my super glue on there i'm gonna go ahead and push it in get it right where it needs to be and then stop <laughs> all right uh it's glued in place now it's not gonna spin on us you know what i mean so that's ready to go i'm gonna leave that little bit of extra uh liner sticking out that should um this should be all right it's actually gonna go in in the the stinger a little bit and that's fine that's fine okay so let's go ahead and install the stuffing tube back into the boat we're basically ready to put our st stinger on okay so uh, before we do that I wanted to kind of show you guys this real quick now this is my collet off of my v1 sonic wake it actually went bad uh, the cable was started spinning in the collet one day uh, due to the the collet nut bottoming out on the base and uh you couldn't tighten it up no more okay so I, you know i thought it was tight i went out and it, and it you know started spinning in the collet so this collet right here is is no longer any good this is my v1 collet i'm using it for reference so what i've done to my v2 because it has the same collet i'm trying this out and so far it's actually working out pretty good uh i had the same problem with the v1 i meant the v2 here all right this the nut on the collet is was bottoming out on the base so what i did is i took the collet out to the to the grinder to my bench grinder and grind it off about well i wouldn't say i would say a, a millimeter and a half 1.5 millimeters possibly two millimeters off this front side of the collar the side that butts up onto the base not not this side i grinded some off this side where the nut part is that way because this one was actually bottoming out on the base as well and it and it would start spinning you know the the cable would have started spinning so before i ruined my collet i went ahead and grinded this piece off i think that that's going to save these collets i think uh it's you know you'll see you'll see whenever i tighten it up all right so we're gonna go through it before we put the stinger on i'm gonna go through and actually put loctite on all these screws these adjustment screws uh you got one two three four five six screws to put loctite on just gonna take them off dip them in my loctite i've been using gel here lately i like that gel Loctite has been working pretty good. Uh, you don't want these screws to back out on you while you're underway. So make sure you Loctite them before you put install the stinger. Uh, if you don't, you're going to have to Loctite them eventually because they will back out with all the vibrations from the boat uh, running. All right, so I'm actually going to take out my strut barrel as well. Uh, this is to adjust the length your your propeller is from the transom of the boat. Okay. So I'm actually taking out this this strut barrel. Okay, it's got threads, and I'm just going to put a little bit of Loctite on it. That way, this guy right here is locked in place as well. All right, just put a little bit of Loctite on it. Boom, put it back in there. 
So I Loctited all my screws in place. Okay, everything's Loctited. The barrel's Loctited like you've seen. I didn't put no Loctite on this guy right here. Okay, because it's kind of nice to be able to use like a nut driver or something to get in there and move that nut back and forth to fine tune uh, this strut and get it in the right position. So it just makes it easier if you don't Loctite that one. Once you get that nut cinched down, uh, it, it'll actually keep it itself in place. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and install it on the boat right here. Hopefully I got my, my stuffing tube the right length. Okay, uh, I'm going to take the barrel off because he's got some larger screws on here. It just makes it easier with this um, Allen wrench. I got the boat flipped over so I, I can show you guys the bottom view of my, my stinger. Okay, just make sure I got full uh, adjustability on my stinger looks like it's perfect okay you can actually put like a piece of uh, fuel line or well I guess silicone extra large silicone tube right here um, it'll kind of block the water from getting in the stinger but it, you should be it should be all right you shouldn't need to do that uh, but you can you can you could put a little piece of silicone tube right there to kind of block off the water if you wanted to but uh it looks pretty good man that looks pretty good let's uh let's slide the the cable in make sure our uh, cable is going to be long enough okay so we need to actually screw in our strut barrel or stinger barrel here so that our cable goes into the collet okay you'd have to actually get a new cable if you want to run your stinger barrel all the way out all right you'd have to get another cable and cut it to size Alright, let's put our drive dog on, see if that's going to line up good with our flat spot. Oh yeah, that's perfect, that's perfect. That gives me a little adjustability there. So I got my collet tightened down. Okay, it's, it's snug on there. See how I got? I still got some more room to tighten it down. Okay, uh, before before I took this material off the nut, it was it was like bottomed out. Okay, brand new brand new boat. So uh, that's my only complaint with this boat so far is the collet. That's my only complaint. Okay, with the V1 and the V2. Okay. All right, so I got some batteries in. I got the boat on. I got this greased up. The stinger, the cable, everything greased up. Everything's buttoned up. Um, let's let's spool it up. See how it sounds. <laughs> sounds good, man. Sounds good. That sounds nice. Before I let you guys go, I just wanted to kind of show you the the stinger on the boat. Kind of go over how you adjust it and tighten it down. Okay, you got four four screws on the side of the stinger base okay one two three four on the other side just kind of tighten those down with loctite you know you ain't got a gorilla tight them okay because the the stinger is actually going to pivot pivot on those four screws so what you want to do is lock this guy right here down okay or loosen it up when you when you want to adjust your stinger all right to actually go up and down with the stinger this right here needs to be loosened up okay there's a nut on the back of that screw right there all right you gotta loosen this up and, and make sure the the nuts backed off because that that whole assembly arm right there swings back and forth all right so once you have that screw loosened up you're able to go up and down with your stinger you see that okay basically just mess around with this one screw doing your adjustments you lock it down kind of tighten it down good and that locks the stinger in place okay that one screw will if you find the sweet spot then you you tighten this guy right here down okay it holds all that in place that's basically your set screw okay Th that in conjunction with this guy right here 
it ain't going nowhere. All okay, right. So our next run out, we're gonna be able to. We're gonna be playing with um, telemetry. Okay, with the with the DX5 rugged, it's pouring. It's been pouring here the last couple of days. I've been doing some shop work, working on a little Geico, but we, we're gonna take this boat out and the big blackjack 42. We'll be able to play around with telemetry. We'll mess with that, and we'll be able to play around with strut adjustments, stinger adjustments, and uh, that way I can show you guys how how this boat likes to be tuned. Okay, uh, with some down trim, some up trim, neutral trim, trim tabs, blah 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 blah. I'm still learning the boat. Okay, I'm not a freaking professional. All right, I like to go out there, run my boats, and, and have fun. You know. Um, good or bad good or bad days you know and and i like you know i like to put my strut all the way down or strut all the way up with my trim tabs all the way up and just see what happens see what the boat does and with different uh settings on our stinger and trim tabs turn fins rudder canter up and down you know i that's how that's how i that's how i have fun with my boats other guys like you know they might like to find a sweet spot and just keep it there and not mess with nothing and just you know try to get the most out of their boat but i'm different i like to get out there and and and, and tinker around you know see what the boat does in different situations different hulls um we'll get to play around with it in the next few videos i'll have some tuning videos and stuff out but uh, I think this stinger is it's it's a good it'll be a good upgrade for this boat really do I really do uh, it's a little bit uh, longer than the stock stinger okay so we may need to actually put a little spacer in between the rudder base and the rudder blade itself to move it out a little bit because it is a little bit close to the blade if it kicks up or something it might might nick it so I might put me a little spacer in there before i take the boat out but uh i appreciate you guys watching man i really do i, I appreciate y'all watching my videos um like comment subscribe uh drop mad lizard a comment he'll get you set up with a, a mad stinger upgrade <laughs> uh yeah we'll see you guys next time big b here with ironclad rc